All right, y'all, uh, quick news update here uh, on 2A News. Uh, in Bismarck, North Dakota, a judge has dismissed a lawsuit filed by North Dakota's largest city uh, and challenged a new law banning zoning ordinances related to guns and ammunition. Folks, we hear this and we see this all over the country. I mean, this ain't new news. You know, um, Seattle, you know, King County, uh, Seattle, Washington was doing something like this. I'm up here in Washington State, so... You know, we got a, a, a what they actually have labeled assault rifle uh, ban. We can no longer buy uh, any of these. And just for for the records, uh, you know, this is empty, uh, I might say, um, you know, so there we go. Um, but, yeah, Fargo uh, sued last year challenging the law uh, unconstitutional uh, and a swipe at the city's home rule uh, powers. State District Judge Clark. Uh, on Tuesday, granted the state's motion for summary judgment and dismissed the city's complaint. While the court agrees that uh, the North Dakota Constitution intends for maximum local self-government, the law is not settled uh, that this language alone provides home rule cities the right to legislate on topics the state legislature has limited, uh, the judge wrote. But she also expressed concerns uh, about the legislature's actions if the legislature continues to uh, pair home rule powers. Uh, home rule cities uh, lack the discretion to address certain discretion, excuse me, to address, um, you know, important issues impacting their respective and unique communities. Fargo um, has an ordinance banning people from conducting certain businesses out of their homes, including gun and ammunition sales, mortuaries, dog grooming and vehicle repairs. In 2020, about 33 percent uh, of federal firearm licenses operated and excuse me, from residential property, surpassing all other types of zoned locations, including commercial, according to the report from the Federal Bureau of uh, ATF and Explosives. Uh, Massachusetts is uh, the only state where home based gun dealers are banned, um, but many local governments may enact zoning laws that prohibit the practice, according to information from Brady, which advocates for gun control. Residential or kitchen table dealers is what they call kitchen table dealers because you're doing a business like any other business that, you know, they want to put give you um, a derogatory type of uh, um, title, uh, you know, residential, which was cool. Uh, but kitchen table dealers uh, present concerns that include the possibility of relatives living in the home where they operate business records and gun inventories becoming mixed with personal items. Um, and dealers working another job that might hinder them from keeping up with regulations, according to Brady. No federal law requires gun safe storages at a dealer uh, and homes uh, are less likely to have a robust security measures against burglary and robbery, according to the group. So it just kind of goes on and on and just talking about some more legislative banning um, that they want to do or regulation <coughs> that they want to do from the powers to be. <clears throat> supposedly, right, um, to us free American citizens. And with that, I just want to say that I hope that everybody uh, is bearing arms. And I want to say to all the the 2A community, some of us good folks who have um, had to have their rights restored, man, if you need to get your rights restored, man, please look into the law. There is free programs that will help you do so. And with that, this is Bangers and Bullets. Drop a comment below as we are out. Peace.